Hey everyone, it's Romero, Director of Makeup at MAC Cosmetics, and we're here in New York. We're live on the Macy's page, and I'm so excited because today we're talking about makeup, right? MAC makeup. We're talking about makeup for an event, one that's coming up right now, Valentine's Day. How about that? Or if you're not celebrating Valentine's Day, maybe another event. But I'm going to show you some quick and easy tips and tricks. Some trends, the soft goth trend, lip lighting, as well as peach fuzz, which is like the big rage this year. We saw it on some red carpets just recently. Last week, I saw those peachy blushes go by, but I'm going to show you um, a couple of tips and tricks too. So um, I'm excited to introduce you to my model here and colleague, and her name is Jan. Welcome, Jan. All right, so I'm excited because I have prepped. Jan has gorgeous skin to start, but I always start every makeup with the Hyper Real Ceramizer. If you want really good skin, you've got to have great skincare, right? And Hyper Real is that. The Ceramizer is really what my main thing that I keep in my makeup kit. I'm using it this week for Fashion Week. Actually, right after this um, Macy's Live, I'm going to two makeup tests for Fashion Week for the two shows that I have coming up this week. So you guys stay tuned, check out my Instagram, shameless plug, and you'll see some of the makeups and you'll see that I'm actually using this. So it really works. Jan actually showed up this morning. I said, what are you wearing? She said, I got a little bit of eyeliner on and guess what? Ceramizer. That, exactly. So she showed up in this and we actually used on her the newest from MAC Studio Radiance Foundation. So this foundation is packed it really is like a serum and foundation in one and packed with like vitamins, really good for your skin. And Yon's skin looks like so buttery and so gorgeous. I'm going to add a little bit more just so you guys can see because it does have a really nice way of sort of setting itself and drying down, but still looking hydrated and moist. So Yon is a perfect, what's your perfect shade that you said? NC15. NC15, which is right here. And I'm going to use a little bit with my 109 brush. And we're going to do a little on the cheeks. I want to show you how glowy and gorgeous. Look at this. This is just the foundation. So I'm using it for a little bit of a highlight by just adding a bit to the face. Right? So that is actually this. So if you want, you guys can go to the link in our bio and shop the products we use today. So look how gorgeous this is. I'll have her do a little turn so you all can see her gorgeous, glowy skin. What do you think, Yin? Do you like that? I love it. Yes, yes. So, so glowy. I feel like we're learning. Moist. Yeah, we're learning some new things today because there were some things you said you, you don't usually do, like brows. We used a little bit of the clear brow gel from MAC and the brow pencil just to fill in her brows, give them some direction, and we did that earlier. But I just wanted to show you the power of the ceramizer, this, the ceramizer mixed with this gorgeous foundation. So look again at this flawless finish. Notice that you can see slight freckles, which is great. It means it looks like real skin. All she's wearing, everyone, it's these two things right now. So important. Yes, Eric, I see that we've got some people chiming in. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I used also a little bit of concealer under the eyes, and it is the Studio Fix Everywhere All Over Face Pen. Waterproof, lasts all day. I love this. It's great as a foundation, but if you want that glowy, glowy look, you want to use this foundation as well as I'm using this as concealer underneath the eyes. So again, a little recap, three products that we have on her that we started off today with. It's these three. All right, then let's get into lashes, right? So I thought about using, because it's Valentine's Day, it's always good to have a little flirty lash, but the main thing about this makeup is that you want to make sure that it looks approachable. You're sitting in front of someone, you're having dinner or dinner with friends, or a potential loved one, and you want the makeup to look real and just beautiful and gorgeous. So I love the number 33 lashes from MAC. I love this one because it looks super natural and we could even fill in a little bit with her, her own natural lash. But all we did today was we used a lash curler and went in with what? 
uh, the Mac stack in the waterproof, the new formula. And you hadn't tried the waterproof before, right? No. It's the first time. The reason why I love this, especially for super straight lashes like Jan has, I decided to curl and use the waterproof because it's super, super lightweight. I'm gonna add one more coat so you can see and look down for me. And I love how black the formula is. It's jet black, so it really stands out on any color skin. So look at this, I'm just pumping up. This is the second layer. And notice that I'm doing a little tug and a little zigzag, right? So I'm trying to fuse the lashes together and lift and suspend them upward. Look at that, not false lashes. These are her own lashes with Max Stack. I know a lot of you have heard about this product. You, if you haven't tried it as, as yet, you are missing out. Your lashes will thank you. I'm telling you, it's a really good one. All right, and the, the waterproof formula is actually pretty new. You know, we just got it recently, which is great because enough people said, hey, why, why doesn't MAC have a waterproof in MAC stack since the formula is so fabulous? And we listened and we do now. Same on this side. I'm just doing a little bit of tipping, a little zigzag, all the way down, perfect. And notice that I'm tugging on the lid, right? Which helps to lift. And this way you don't get any transfer onto the lid itself. And I feel like every brush stroke, the lashes just seem to grow. They just appear to get longer and longer. Notice that I turn the brush and I'm going under. And I know I'm spending a lot of time on mascara, but mascara is important. It really does frame the face. How pretty is that? we have a question okay is it easy to wash off since it's waterproof it's waterproof which means you need to use a makeup remover to remove it soap and water you, you would have difficulty taking it off and that's why it's called waterproof because it means that you can get caught in the rain you can cry i just recently did a bride for um who is a beauty editor i won't say which magazine for her wedding and of course you know what i used right the max stack waterproof so it, you, need a, you need a makeup remover. You might want to use an oil. You can use the Hyperreal cleansing oil for that to get everything off. I like using it on a wipe. So, um, I mean, it's fairly easy to get off. I know what they're saying, where if it's, if it's too dry, then you feel like you're damaging your lashes. The main thing is the removal process. Take your time, right? This should be like a spa event for you that you're just re like relaxing, removing, and using the oil. So I love using the Hyperreal oil to remove something like waterproof mascara. I love that question. Great question. Great questions, guys. Keep them coming. <laughs> All right, so now let's go in. The skin is looking really, really good. I wanna show you a little secret of mine. Makeup artists have this product called Skin Refine Zone from MAC, Prep and Prime Skin Refine Zone. This is actually a primer right? But even though it's a primer, it's something that you can use after the makeup. So right now, my, our gorgeous model here is not wearing any powder, right? So you see how that serum foundation has a beautiful dry down, but you still get that gorgeous glow. So it's almost like you really don't need the powder, but I want to show you a little trick with this. And I love carrying this around in my pocket because it's so tiny. You take a drop of this, a tiny, tiny drop. That's all you need. The 109 brush. And watch this. Let's look at the shine on her nose, right? We're just gonna take a little off. So you're drying it. Don't use a lot of product. And notice that I'm tapping. While you're tapping, you're actually drying it as you're applying and it's mattifying. So look at this instant mattification that happens. So I call this product my liquid powder. It's Prep and Prime Skin Refined Zone. So I wanna keep her gorgeous cheeks glowing and I want her to be more matte in the T-zone and center where most people shine. So what I'm using, and I'll show you again, it's called Prep and Prime Skin Refined Zone. So I call it my liquid powder. It's really a primer that you can use before, you, but you could see like after the makeup is done, you can go back and just tap, 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 and look how nice and matte her face looks. The T-zone, the, the nose, the nostrils, the very tip, 
and right here where everybody gets really shiny, right? The camera loves this product. So, and it's easy because as you get oily throughout the day, even if you're not wearing makeup, you can use this. It really will blur any pores and mattify the skin and help to keep the makeup in place. So I love that. Yes, thank you all for your great questions. All right, so that was a good one. Let's go in now with, let's do some shadows. Ready for shadows? Let's do it. All right, so for, this is Valentine's Day, right? We wanna do something that is rosy, but warm at the same time, approachable. So this is the Connecting Color Rose Lens. Look how cute this is, right? I love the packaging. I love it. So it's so pretty and pinky, very Valentine. And here we go. But these colors are able, you're able to wear them every day at the same time too. So it's a really beautiful, beautiful every day and going out palette. And it's quite festive. All right, so we're going in with, let's do the 224 brush, right? And what we're gonna do is go in and grab a little bit of this rose color and tap right on, look down for me, right on the inner corner of the eye. Look how easy that is. Same on the other side, while there's enough on the brush. Just tap and blend, super easy. So I love these new reformulated powders because they're, they go on so smooth, it almost goes on like a cream. So blending becomes super, super easy. And the payoff, look at the pigment load here, right? A really soft brush and just blending it into the socket so there's a little bit of color, a little pop, a little bit of fun, really sort of festive. But you can actually show up at work like this, right? And then you can get all jazzed up for nighttime for your Valentine date. So Yuna, I have to ask you, do you have a Valentine? I have a date on a Valentine's what? Day. What? Okay, so this is going to be a perfect look for you, and I'm going to show you how to re replicate this, all right? So, yeah, this is going to be really a fun Valentine date for you. I'll give you everything I'm using on you today. I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fun. So, whatever's left on the brush, I'm now diffusing and bringing it inward. So it looks almost like a natural shadow, shadowing the nose, and then going inward. Just lean in a little and go from side to side so they can see. Look how pretty that is, look how blended that is, super easy. I'm being very, very lightweight because Yoon has to go back to work today. <laughs> <laughs> and I want her, coll her colleagues and my colleagues to say like, wow, you look great, as opposed to like, where's she going? <laughs> you know. So that's what I love about this is there's a lot of pigment here so you can really pile it on but you can also have this really subtle, approachable Valentine look, which is what we are doing today. Gorgeous. All right, so next color, let's go in, let's say with this light sort of purpley shade here. We'll do this one next. We first did the bright pink. We're going in with this and we're going right on the lid. Same brush and look at the power of these pigments. It's almost like a liquid the way this goes on. So I'm just fading from that pink into this beautiful sort of rosy lavender purple. And let's lean in and see that. Look how pretty that is. Look how, and actually close your eye. Look at that and turn slightly, slow, and back again. Look at that shine. Gorgeous, all right? Let's do some on the other side, same brush. Here we go. So notice that I'm tapping, right? Anytime I'm using Anything that's shimmery, instead of pulling the brush, you might tend to get more flyaway. So I love tap, 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 tapping. And don't forget, for all of what we're talking about today, go to the link in our bio to shop the products we use. All right. So on the lid, it's looking really good. All right, I'm feathering it out. It's a really nice blending. These powders go on like a cream. There's no fallout on our lashes. Really pretty, really easy. And this is her Valentine date night look, right? All right, so let's go in and super easy because I'm going with a little deeper color. They're not too far. And my little artistry tip is actually take a little off on a tissue as you see me doing here, right? And we're going straight in to this sort of 
warmer tone now, which is sort of strange in this palette. I really like this. It's almost like um, a peachy beige, right? And turn a little that way for me. I'm gonna tap this just in the corner. Let's do the other side, same thing, just for a little definition, and then we're gonna blend. So it's this peachy beige. So if you're just tuning in, I've used the pink first, this purple, and now this flat sort of beige peach. And then again, taking everything off the tissue, and then we're gonna blend. This way you don't have too much product, blends really easy, and it just gives a little more definition to the face. Let me just look all the way up for me. All right, looking really good. Let's lean in so they can see what we've done so far. All right, so next we're gonna do a bit of a little goth look. So we're gonna do a little smoky smolder pencil and all I'm gonna do is just in the waterline, look all the way up for me, just lightly, like a soft goth look, super easy. Look how pretty that is, right? All the way up again, same here, super, super easy. We're gonna leave the lids really nice and light and just give her a little more power and structure underneath with this pencil. All right. And since this, since it's a gothy look, we're going in with a Q-tip and we're just gonna smudge a little bit. So your regular sized Q-tips is good. And look up for me. I'm just going to go back and forward. Super easy just to sort of drag the Q-tip and smudge it out to the outside of the waterline. Just gives her a little bit of edge, even though this makeup and shadow is looking quite cute. How great is that, right? So we'll stop there. That was a little bit of smolder pencil if you're tuning in. And you can shop everything, go to the link to see all the products we use today. All right, so the next thing we're doing is we're going in with a little bit of this whole peachy blush, peach fuzz trend that's so hot right now. I'm gonna use the 168 brush. It's a great contouring brush, but I love using this for blush as well because you tap a little bit in, tap right on the cheek and just dust out. So peach is really a big, big trend for this season. This whole peach fuzz that everyone's um, identified. We're gonna go in, tap a little off. I know a lot of you do this where you tap off on something. Some people blow on the brush, I prefer to tap. And you can smile and you're just applying on the apples of the cheek. I'm going a little bit above the apple to sort of lift. And you could even do that old school C shape here. So I'm doing a bit of a higher placement of the blush to make it look more approachable and more sweet. And just lean in so they could see. So notice that this blush has this gorgeous glow to it, right? So I'm being very sparing with this, very light-handed, but you can actually have it look like this color if you're going out at night. So it's nice because this could be your day and this could be your evening. The color is called Cheeky Bits. What I love about the mineralized blush, this one, is that, um, the extra dimension blush, sorry, is that this blush actually looks like you have a highlight and blush on in one. Just turn a little this way so they could see. There it is, there it is. Stay there and let's add a little bit more. I want you to see the power of this blush. This is the color that I used on the bride as well, the editor for her wedding, and she wanted to have a beautiful glow. And honestly, like every picture, the skin just looked so amazing, especially if you're playing with textures with the face. Again, we mattified the T-zone and we're really highlighting and glowing up the cheek. So that juxtaposition really works and really helps you to see the difference, right? So I'm gonna stop there because she looks great in person. I could pump it up for the camera, but I feel like this just looks approachable. It looks amazing. It looks super sweet. And since it's Valentine's Day, we wanna be approachable. All right, taking a little on my brush here and we're gonna go in. Again, it's a high placement, so it looks more sweet. Tap, tap, tap. Notice that I'm tapping and not pulling, right? So I want the skin to just stay and for nothing to move. 
some people really just go in and pull and I'm super, super gentle with the application. I think that's really important for a really nice, smooth finish. All right, so now I'm gonna step back and look to see that both sides look symmetrical. This is important. Make sure that you do that. Don't just be so close in the mirror. Go back a little bit. Let's lean back. All right, and then turn from side to side. That looks good. I feel like we could add more on this side. See what I mean? So make sure to step away from your mirror if you're really close and take a more, more of a long distance look and then go back and make sure that your makeup looks symmetrical. I mean, listen, they're gonna be sisters, not twins, right? <laughs> All right, so I feel like that's pump. Yeah, that's perfect. Now you can see both sides look more even. All right, so next let's talk a little bit about some lips. So I wanna talk about our newest lipstick, which I'm so excited. It's called Maximal Silky Matte Lipstick from MAC. It is a refresh of our traditional, iconic MAC Cosmetics lipsticks. Look at this gorgeous bullet, right? Look how amazing. Thank you for the hearts, guys. I know that this, you've been waiting for this. Can, and let's just say, go look at Candy Yum Yum. It is gorgeous, right? But right now we're using Ruby Woo. You know, this is what like put MAC on the planet because we had matte lipsticks like this before many other brands and it, and in so many, you know, so many shades that worked for so many different skin tones. And that's why people came to MAC and continued to come to MAC today, especially with this upgraded formula. So let's talk about it, right? 12 hour wear, um, immediate moisture that lasts for eight hours, non-flaking, non-caking, and it has shea butter and coconut oil. So you know both of those are good for you and feel good, right? All right, so let's go in and smile for me. We're gonna add a little just in the center. And since it's red and since we want it to be approachable, we're gonna go in and diffuse from the center and do more of an ombre lip, right? Super, super easy. This is a number 219 brush. It's actually a brush for doing light, like for doing a smoky liner, but I love using this for blending out lipstick and applying lipstick. And open for me. Don't forget, get the corners. Blend, 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 and do this for me. Perfect. I'm gonna diffuse upward. And smile for me. It's important to smile so that you tighten the lip the brush won't skip, it'll just go straight by. But look at this, even though it's matte, I added just a little and you have this beautiful sort of pinky, almost berry tone, almost cranberry, which is another trend that's coming. Wait until you see what's happening for fall. And when you see fall fashion week, there's some really beautiful colors. And open wide again. Don't forget your corners, go all the way to the corner with the brush. Same here. Super easy. I just did a shoot yesterday that was at 8.30 a.m. in Brooklyn. And yeah, that was early. It was early, but it was amazing. I think I left last night at 7 p.m. And I used, of course, this lipstick. And I used it with a little bit of gloss, and it's amazing. And blend for me. How pretty is that? So look at this clean, beautiful color. The color is just so crisp. Thank you guys for the fire signs, for hearts, all of that. How pretty is this? So let's go in, and even though we did this blush, the cheeky bits on her that's more peachy, let's go in and do a little bit more in the cheek. So watch this. How cute is that? <laughs> All right? We're just doing like little hearts, and we're gonna go in and blend, 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 and just give her this really cute, rosy glow. Since her lip is a bit stronger, look how pretty that blends. How does it feel, by the way, on the lip, the Silky Matte Formula? Very comfortable. Yeah, this is the big, big difference. Because when you think about it, the formula that we had was the original formula, right? So MAC decided to upgrade it and bring it into this century so that it is gorgeous, easy, beautiful, who would do this on camera, like blend out a matte lipstick? <laughs> Me. Why? Because I know that it's going to blend out 
seamlessly and so smooth into the skin. And that is the new Maximal Silky Matte Lipstick from MAC. And this is Ruby Woo, a little on her cheeks and on her lips as well, just in a stained way. Look how beautiful she looks, just glowy, rosy. I'm gonna go over that with her foundation brush and just buff around it. And again, it looks like she has this gorgeous, gorgeous glow. And that's because of the foundation that's underneath. Also the Hyperreal foundation, the Hyperreal Ceramizer, right? This is what we started with here. These two, right? And then we went in with a little bit of the pen as her concealer. And now I think, how many people want to see a little lip gloss on top of that? <laughs> Let me know what you think. If you want to see it, I am going to do it. All I need is your approval. What's that? Okay, you want to see it. I get it. <laughs> I know, I know, so we're gonna use a little bit of clear lip gloss because this is how beautiful, the matte looks great, right? Looks really pretty by itself. I'm gonna go in and pump it up a little bit more. And we're gonna go in with a little bit of lip gloss. Super easy, hydrating, super high gloss, right? And here we go. Don't forget, you can go to the link in the, in our app. <laughs> and find all the products. Yes, link in the bio to shop everything that we did today. Just blot a little. Look how pretty that is. That is Ruby Woo on the cheeks mixed with Cheeky Bits Blush, right? And Clear Lip Glass. We're almost to the end of this. Finally, 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 do not leave home. Even if you're not wearing makeup, there are two things you need to have on before you leave the house, right? It is a great ceramizer, some great skincare, and a little bit of protection, right? I love that this gives some blue light protection as well if you're sitting at your desk. So I love this alcohol-free setting spray from MAC called MAC Fix Plus Stay Over. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. All right, let's do it. Let's do a little spray. Perfect, and lean in and show them your finished look. How pretty is that? Ready for Valentine's Day, glowy. Listen, if you have a partner, if you're going out with a friend, is it called, what's Valentine's Day for friends called? Galentine's. Galentine, <laughs> or maybe Guyantine. Could it be like a guy's <laughs> Valentine's Day? We should make that up, right? Galentine, Guyantine, or traditional Valentine's Day. So I hope you guys enjoyed our little presentation featuring this gorgeous, gorgeous, silky matte lipstick from MAC, brand new. Check it out. I know you've seen everybody, including me, post about this. And when you try it, you, you, you're you going to notice. The feeling is amazing. And by the way, just take a smell. It smells mm, so sweet. Vanilla. Yes, I love the way this smells as well. So tell me what you think. Please to let us know at Macy's here what you'd like to see more of. And happy Valentine's Day to everyone. See you soon.